Hi everyone, uh, let's see how Armora works. It has got two parts which basically leapfrog onto each other to create a forward or reverse movement. The front part consists of the first set of legs, the head, which are attached to this straight frame in there, the end of which is connected to the third set of legs there. This straight frame is also connected to an inverted U-frame with this knot and bolt there, but it allows it to move, okay? Depending on which set of legs is on the floor, it allows it to move. Now the inverted U-frame is connected to the main axle there and there. Have a closer look. And these are the main connection between the first part and the second part of the body. The second part of the body actually starts here. There's some counterweight there and there. I made the back and a bit heavier, so I put some counterweight in there. Although the CNG of the parts are always changing. And it comes in there, it has got two little frames which hold the steering rod here. The steering rod goes into that recess in there, which acts as a guide uh, when it is turning. And there is this micro switch there, which basically hits onto that side of this frame. Coming along, there is a battery bank in there underneath this frame. And there's another micro switch there, which uh, hits onto this end of this frame. Coming along all the way to the end, this back end holds the controller inside it. The second set and the fourth set of legs are also connected to the second part of the body. Okay. I've got a prop which I'll show you how the movement happens. So on the first half circle of the movement, the back part goes like that, and on the second half, like that. so this other way. And the bot itself is similar on the other side, uh, minus the micro switches. Now if you look from here, you can see the motor in there and there's a small frame which is freely moving. Uh, it's not really attached to anything but it keeps the little gears in there in their place as well as keeps the distance between the gears. So from the motor, it's a step down to these main gears, about 12 is to 1. These main gears are attached to the two main axles. Okay. And these main gears are attached also attached to these two little gears. So from there, turns that one, that turns that one, and that basically turns the free wheel. So yeah. So, see, when you turn that, it turns the free wheel. Sorry, free wheel, not, not the free wheel, governor as well. Governor. I'll show you the governor a bit more in detail. The governor has a turning part, which is this and a static block there. That static brass block is held onto this brass block with a small plastic. That plastic actually screws into 
this glass block here. So when it is turning at a speed, it will pull to one side like that. And the end of the steering rod, you can see here, protruding from there, it goes all the way up through those frames and to that uh, recess in there. So when you are pulling onto the governor, you are actually turning the uh, steering rod as well. You can see that the hole in there is a bit elongated. And, uh, the hole is a bit elongated. That is because the governor, when it turns the steering rod, uh, it will pull the rod towards itself as well. So to stop it from seizing, um, I have elongated that hole. So it basically does that. When it is not turning, the spring inside the governor will close the governor, will push the governor that side and the bot body will turn under the pressure of the spring. So that is basically it. There is not much to it. Uh, I've used the micro switches to make use of those movements uh, more effectively. Now let's see uh, by switching it on what it does. As you can see, the governor is pulling to one side. That is probably the normal straight movement. Let me pull one of the uh, for the transistors and see what the movement will be like. A bit different this time. So that is how it works. It's not much good. Close it up. Oh, that's it.